everyone, it's Brittany from Coffee Planner Mom, and I am here today to plan out the week of Monday, March, nope, April 19th through the 25th in my catch-all planner. So these are the inserts that I use to plan everything in our lives. So anything relating to the house, the kids, my husband, work, major events for school, um, those sorts of things. I do have separate planners that go more in depth for like other aspects of our lives but like anything that can affect the day-to-day -day running of the house or the general like running of the house goes in here um so these are classic happy planner sized inserts that i've gotten from lights planner action um i do i did punch them myself for my happy planner like my disc bound system i use a happy planner punch um, I do have a coupon code for her shop. It is coffee and that saves you 10% off of your order of $10 and more um, this weekend. So up until Monday the 19th. So from now until Monday, you can actually get blackout inserts for her shop. And I actually had a separate plan with me go up. That should have gone up earlier um, using those inserts they are brand new to our shop and i have more details in that video or you can check out bess's instagram page which is lights planner action and she goes through everything there so for this spread um i've actually been sitting on these stickers from ali's shop so she is um her site is shop according to ali.com um I, I loved these bees and like part of me was like I should use them in May but honestly I don't want to wait until May to use them I want to use them now so I'm going to be going with these um I picked my palette based on these quotes and I'm gonna be going mostly with these rolls of washi from Simply Gilded these were from a few years I think two years ago um her mayflowers sub box and then because these are like quotes and decorative stickers i need functional items so i'm going to be pairing it with okay i'm a mess um i figured the minimalistic colors from my shop would go pretty well i don't know if i'm gonna use the tulips for this one or not i might save these i might not though i don't know um but the minimalistic I thought it was nice and neutral goes really well and believe it or not blustery blues which is the winter one of my winter collections um just because I think that like the blue and the gray like that silvery shade I think would look really well I mean I do have pink washi too but I um yeah I don't know I probably am gonna use the pink washi so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get my washi laid down. So I am going to be using the bumblebee, pink bumblebee washi down at the bottom and, and this one up at the top. So let me go ahead and get that done because I apparently need to take a second and stop talking because I can't speak correctly. So I'll be back once I have the washi down. All right. So I am already loving how this looks. Um, I actually don't think I've ever used this washi before. So... I'm just really thrilled about that alone. Um, so let's see. I don't want to go with this. It's funny because like I had a no rain, no flowers quote last week from my own sticker shop and it's here too. But I'm kind of thinking that I want to use it again. Like is that, I don't think that's a bad thing. I feel like those colors are really pretty and it's got the pink. So that would really bring that in. I don't want to do the April showers bring May flowers because I want to do that for a transitional week or month. I don't know. I mean, I could do it because I've got these, but I feel like I want to do more of the bees. So yeah, no, hold on. We're going to go with where flowers bloom, so does hope. So these are clear stickers, the sheet and the uh, clouds. So I think what I'll do is I'll stick this I was going to put it down low, but I don't think I'm going to put it too low. And I'm going to, I feel like that is roughly centered. Perfect. And then, do I want to go with spring is in the air or hello spring? 
So that didn't have her lettering. That had her, like, the florals in the back. So I think I'm going to go with Spring is in the Air because I feel like it features more of Allie's actual lettering. And I just wanted to go with that. So let's see. Normally I put a quote in the sidebar, but normally it's just one that is like in the sidebar itself. So I kind of think I'm going to stick this over here on Monday and Tuesday instead. Yeah, because Wednesday I have an appointment. So spring is in the air. Oh, this is so cute. Yeah. All right. So and I'm kind of thinking that I want to not the rain. I don't think I'm going to do the rain, but I think I'm going to just add in a couple of the clouds. So I'll stick that one over here in the sidebar. This way, at least I have something in the sidebar. Nice. And then I'm going to go with, I think I'm actually going to put it here. Just a little down. Perfect. And then I'm going to go with the matching blue. Over here. Okay. So we got that. Now the bees. I don't know. I kind of... I really love the purple, but I feel like the purple's not going to quite go. Same thing with the tulips. The tulips are, where'd they go? Where did they, there they are. The tulips are really pretty, but they are, they bring in the green from the stems and the leaves and the grass. And I don't think I want to do that. So I actually think I might end up bringing in some of my own florals just because, like the minimalistic florals, because those are going to match the colorations a little bit better. So we'll see we will see um what i do want to do do want to do i actually don't think i'm going to need the blue because i think that the the two shades of gray that i have in here are going to go really well well enough so okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to put Ooh, yeah actually that would look really cute oh my god <laughs> yes yeah we're going to put that so that it's kind of like Oh, God. I can't think of the words I'm trying to say, but I love it. And then I'm going to take the cream colored one for the blue. And then I actually think I'm just going to do the same in the sidebar. And I'll go with this one. Oh, my God. That's just really adorable okay now I do want to have checklists on Monday also so let's see I think what I'll do is I will take yeah I'm gonna take the other gray and I'll just stick it a little bit further down so that it's not too close to the uh, to the quote okay this is good. So I'm already making sure that I'm keeping this functional. I'm having fun though. <laughs> having a lot of fun. All right. Uh, what was I going to do? I don't know. Okay. So these are the florals that I have in my shop. So I think that these are the ones that I'm going to go with just because I feel like it's going with the colors that I'm aiming for. Now I do want to have some of the little bees because they're just really cute. And I bought a ton of them. Not ton, I bought three sheets of them. Because I just loved them. So, okay, let's see. So I've got this one, and I'm going to stick it over here. Because I have a, you know, a flowers quote. And then I'm going to take the medium-sized one also. Maybe I should have put it up a little bit more. Yeah, I probably should have put it up a little bit more. So I'll pull out some undo. Whatever. I'm just going to leave it. And then I'm going to take 
one of the little bumblebees. And ah, there we go. It did not want to come off of my finger. Yeah, I think I'm just going to put the bees in like kind of all over. Yeah, I'm going to put another flower. I think I'm going to put one of the smaller ones. Yeah, and I'm going to have it. Oh my god, this bee is going to look ginormous next to this flower. Which is kind of funny, but that's okay. Bumblebees are a little bit on the bigger side, so. All right, I've got three bees over here. So I need more bees. I probably should have done a tiny one. That's okay. I'm going to do the small one. It's so itty bitty. Oh my god, it's precious. I'm going to do it up here. Let's see. So I have one bee butt over here. I want to put another bee butt down. So Allie also kiss cuts hers. Very dainty as well. Did I? Okay. I folded the poor bee leg back on itself. Poor thing. I think I'm going to stick him over here. Oh, so cute. So, so cute. Okay. Let's put another floral over here. Okay, I think that's all I'll do for right now. Let, oh, I don't have any of my boxes out. All right, so I have the minimalistic boxes pulled out from my shop. Oh, that little bee is gonna have to go somewhere else. It's not like going as in I'm getting rid of it, but let me just use some undo. One drop should be enough. Yeah, look at that. Whole little guy is my my desk is terrible right now but i'm gonna leave him there because i'm probably going to stick him on this box let's see which one do i want to use i think i'm going to use the gray like the darker one and i am going to offset it because i like to offset And I need my race day sticker. So opening day is on Sunday for my son's racing. So his he's not going to be ready to race on Sunday because um, we're still waiting for like parts and stuff to come in. We bought his car used. Um, so we are replacing the seat belts and we got them like we ordered them and everything. Oh my God. Yes. I'm going to put this little bumblebee with the race day um so like we ordered the seat belt and everything for him but they sent us the wrong thing so now we're waiting and it's taking forever to return it like we ordered the right part they just sent the wrong one so at least it wasn't us <laughs> that messed up so that did uh did make us feel a little bit better um but now we're waiting for the right thing and so i don't think he's i don't think the car is going to be ready for him to race on opening day unfortunately so we will have to figure out what we're doing as far as that goes. But we are going to go and watch his friends race. So, yeah, so we have a car. It's used. Um, we making steady progress. It's exciting. I think I'm going to go with this one because we have we have to get a window replaced in the house. And they are coming Monday morning or not Monday, Wednesday. I'm putting this down in the right spot. Oh, I didn't mark off our movie night in my other spread, in the black blackout spread. So that's a bit of a bummer. Okay, and then I use the light color. So I'm going to use the light quarter box over here. And that looks cute. Okay, so that is for my daughter's guitar lesson. Oh, I didn't pull out my habit trackers. 
So I have, so this is going to be just like a general cleaning list, I think. Normally I do my chores list over here, but I think I'm going to, I had for a while done a, like general chores in the sidebar and then other like regular to-dos. I might put another cloud there, I don't know. Um, but anyway, I don't know what I was getting at. So that's fun. All right, so what shades have I used? Okay, so I have this shade, this shade, and then this gray. All right, so I've got this one here already and I've got the gray there. My idea was to put my habit trackers here, but I actually think I'm going to stick them down here and missing a sticker book. There we go. We're going to get out my dinner's script. Oh, I guess I have, yeah, I've got an appointment sticker, so I might as well use it. I don't know who they are. Like, I remember we had them come out and quote it and everything, and we signed, the, and then they came back out so we could sign the contract, and now they're coming back out again so that they can take proper measurements, so... I just have to reference my planner and then I'll know. Yeah. This is the one I wanted. I wanted my dinner's script. Yeah, we're gonna go with the brush. So you get the brush script and the simple script on my sheets. I need my tweezers. Okay, this way I can see a little bit better. And then it looks like the bee is looking at my dinners list. <laughs> that is so cute. Okay. So yes, we're going to do dinners down uh, or up there because that gives me a little bit more flexibility with the shades. So I'm going to go with this lighter color. right here I might stick another little bee here just because and I want to put another one Let's see yeah that still gives me plenty of room so we'll go with those two colors plenty of room for dinners put this away all right let's just flip through this and see what else I no, I need to mark off. I don't want to put any scripts over this one because like I don't have scripts for those. So yeah, I had a Manny put down. I don't know what, if I want to put a Manny down or not. There's no paydays this week. I don't want to use to do. Oh yeah, towels. All right, so towel Tuesday. Oh, I need my laundry scripts. I have to print myself some more. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Where's this? We are going to use this washi. And stick it heat. Come on, man. Feel like that's upside down, but whatever. Uh... Here we go. I don't want to damage my ruler <laughs> that my friend Gayla gave me, so I'm just going to use this Ulta card. The ruler works better for ripping the washi. It doesn't leave it as jagged as this card does, but I don't want to ruin the finish. So there it is. We got Towel Tuesday. So cute with the washi. And then it is trash night on Wednesday. I'm going to get that down. All right, now what I do want to, maybe I'll use the washi again. Although I have it here, so I probably, all right, I have, oops, the 15 millimeter of that one that I used. So I think I'll go with that for yoga and working out. I don't know. I feel like maybe that might be a little too much. Let's try it. And then if I don't like it, I can always use some undo to pull it up. I don't know. 
I was just, how oh no, it like stuck stuck. Come on. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so he, my hesitation is really just because I want to bring in more of that pink washi. So maybe if I only used it for the yoga days, or maybe if I move Towel Tuesday off of that. Yeah, I think that might work a little bit better. So I'm actually gonna stick this one up here. All right, so I have those down and then this is for the driving range. So I can take my daughter so she can get in some practice. All right, so I think the only thing I'm missing is our fun day Friday. And I think what I'm gonna do is I will go, cause I have, oh, okay. So I have both of the grays and then that cream color so I guess I'm going to use the same one that I used over here just to have that variation. So that is to mark off fun day Friday because I try to do something fun with the kids on Fridays. Just makes the school year a little more palatable, I think. And then the other thing I almost forgot, I guess we'll just go with the cream color again, um, is Falcon and the Winter Soldier comes out on Fridays. Oh, we don't do a very good job of watching it on the day it comes out, but I at least want to mark it off. And then I have these little popcorn icons and movie clappers from the Pretty Pink Co. And we'll also use that to mark off our family movie nights. I've got that there. So I'm, normally I put it here and I'm like, like total creature of habit, but we're gonna stick it over here. And I aim to do a load of laundry every, like every day. So I'm gonna put a couple of the stickers down just to, yeah, so we'll have one over there. I'll stick one on this checklist. Can I fit one with Towel Tuesday? I mean, I probably could. Let me see if I can lift, there we go came up too easy. There we go. Yeah, because like these, they're nice and dainty, so they kind of go with the spread. And then I kind of want another flower here. I don't want like one of the big ones. So I'm just going to put one of these small ones. I think that's cute. And then I'm just gonna use the other little bees that are over here. Do not want to hurt the little wings. Just kind of make it look like this bee is flying away from there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here because I have extra space. So I don't want to take the bees from any of the other sheets. So, but this is good because like I'll be able to use these, like the lavenders with the other sheets and just kind of make it really like super florally. Hold on, do I have any other of my flowers? Yeah, I do. So let's take it, put another one down here, and then just stick this little bee right in here with those florals. I think this came out really cute. 
Um, I don't think I'm going to add anything else to it. I like that I don't have too much of the pink. It is an overall very neutral spread, but I had to use that washi. Like I just had to because it has the little bees on it too. And I kind of wish that I would have used more of this one, but I'm okay with how it looks. Like I don't want to put anything else down. I don't want this to be too heavy. I think it was really fun putting the clouds with the checklist. I just think that's adorable. So yeah, that is going to do it for this spread. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on any of my other videos. If you press the bell icon, it'll give you pop-up notifications so that you'll know as soon as my videos go live. And be sure to be following me over on Instagram. Over there, I'm at Coffee Planner Mom. I have a highlight reel with all of my new PR team. They just started like three days ago. Um, so I have their codes, their freebies in the highlight reel so that you can check everything out. I do have a couple of returning faces and their freebies have gotten revamped as well. Um, so yeah, and then like I said, Allie's shop website is shopaccordingtoallie.com. She comes out with new releases monthly. So the ones that I used came out with her March release. She had an April release. I don't know if she has started sneaking her May release though. So follow her on Instagram at according to Allie so that you can see what she comes out with. And I will catch you in the next video.